a species of psychic goo who feed off the thoughts of sentient creatures and hide in plain sights as either the thrones of your kingdom or the shrines of your gods. These balls of psychic red, blue, and purple can manage their kingdoms just as you would cattle or feed passively off of their hosts or change the bodies in order to fit their needs perfectly. To all wizards, these creatures are known as the Kogi Fage or to the adventurers who hunt them, the Kogi. Let's break them down. The Kogi are a very, very adaptive goo that can change their form in order to fit the specific needs of their feedings. So for instance, if their feeding zones are much more nomadic or much smaller, they'll do a type of feeding called active feeding. While in this feeding stage, the Kogi will change their main body into a particular object and disguise themselves as it and force that image into the minds of creatures that walk by and split segments of itself off. And in these segments, it will then crawl into the base of the spines of their host and feed off the psychic energy that is produced by sentient creatures when they have a thought and then send that psychic energy all the way back to the main body in order to keep it full and uh, constantly satiated. The second way that the Kogi feed is when there's a lot more people who can constantly come to a particular spot in which the Kogi do what's called dormant feeding. In this dormant feeding, what they do is they change themselves into a particular object, let's say a gateway to the city, and in this object, as creatures pass by or touch this object, they emit their thoughts, and the Kogi just sucks out the psychic energy that are produced by these thoughts that these creatures have. Now, sometimes when a Kogi is active feeding, the host that has the uh, spliced off part of the Kogi will wander a little too far away from the main body. When this happens, the little spliced piece won't have any more psychic energy being sent to it from the main body in order to keep it alive. So what this piece of the Kogi will do is become its own sentient version of a Kogi called a Ural, which is a younger and much more uh, child form of the Kogi. When it's in this Ural stage, what it will do is it will suck out all the psychic energy that the creature produces uh, from all of its thoughts, literally killing it and snapping its neck. From then, it uses it uses Neric energy, which is simply the energy that's created when there's a void or the lack thereof psychic energy inside of a creature. It uses Neric energy in order to force and contort the body and change it and making it basically this same exact structure and same exact shape of the body of the uh, creature that it had used, but it's like a lava lamp and swirling with these red, purples, and blues all around it. And what a Ural will do is it will aggressively attack each and every other creature that it can see, and it will literally just eat them. And as it's eating them, it's forcing more of this Neuric energy into it, and by forcing the Neuric energy into it, it's siphoning out all the psychic energy. From there, what the Ural will do is it will constantly eat all these different creatures until it has enough energy to become its own Kogi, in which it will then go and move into the form and become a full-on fledged Kogi and either do adaptive, uh, active feeding or dormant feeding. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes when a Ural attacks and kills a creature, it doesn't kill a creature. And basically what happens is these creatures turn into Durvins. And these Durvins, because they are completely sapped out of psychic energy, they are fueled by this Neric energy. And their bones begin to protrude out of their back. And they literally become almost ghoul-like. And they are these vicious monsters who will go around. And instead of eating the bodies of other creatures, they will aggressively siphon out all the psychic energy that these creatures have, creating more and more Durvins by constantly fueling them with nervic, uh, neuric energy as they're taking out all the psychic energy in these creatures. Now, unlike Urals, uh, Durvins don't have the ability to become full-fledged Kogis or even Urals. So literally, they continuously suck out all the psychic energy of all creatures and constantly fueling them with neuric energy. And just the cycle continuously repeats as more and more Durvins are created until the prime Durvin, which is the one that created them all, is killed or the Kogi that had created that Neric is killed. Kogi are ridiculously territorial. So when a Kogi creates its dormant feeding or it decides to stay in a city or town in which a lot of people are constantly going into a very active area, what it will do is it will be aggressively territorial to its own kind. So if another Kogi either tries to enter into the space in order to try to feed off of the psychic energy that is there, or if a piece of a Kogi coming because it's doing active feeding comes into another Kogi's territory, it will do one of two things. One, it will literally drop its form and turn into an actual Kogi and hunt down the host or hunt down the Kogi itself and rip all the psychic energy out of it and from ripping all the psychic energy out of it, creating a Durvin in which it will force out of its land or just kill flat out. Or it will do another thing, if it owns enough psychic energy or enough 
uh, livestock, so to speak, creatures that it can psych out psychic energy, what it will do is it will psych out a large mass of psychic energy and create a Neogo. And these Neogos will hunt down the Kogi and wind up killing it. And once they kill it, they will come right back and splice right back into the main body of the Kogi. Now, because Kogi feed off of the psychic energy produced by the thoughts of sentient creatures, they wind up being able to read the thoughts of sentient creatures and have an influence over their thoughts itself. So much so that some Kogi decide that they will become either the thrones or the uh, war room table or simply an object that all of the nobility or the rulers of a kingdom sit around. And what they will do is they will use their psychic feeding and imprint their own thoughts in dreams or literal just thoughts or mental takeovers or domination of their host and make them think different things in order to ensure that their livestock is being perfectly managed in order to consistently have more and more people flow into their city by increasing trade or doing whatever they see fit and they will literally control and rule the kingdoms as the seat or the kingdom's throne hey guys uh thank you so much for making it to the end of the video a uh, real big thank you to this guy and this guy for actually giving me the inspiration for the name of the kogi as i was really having a gigantic brain fart i'm really sorry that this video is super late i was you know just having a bunch of issues with you know life and whatnot but if you wait for another i think two hours i'll be posting another video as an extra special treat to you guys and i really really want to give a huge shout out to jason who's a new dungeon master who we've all inspired so down in the comments below please just give jason some love as this man has really came a long way he's been like one of the first people that jumped on my channel and now he's running his own games and that really really just makes me so excited and so happy but Nonetheless, uh, I want you guys to comment on how you like the Kogi. 